I decided today to have rhinoplasty and septoplasty. Since I was 10 years old, my nose was broken playing baseball. Baseball bat hit at one of the kids, swung the bat, hit the ball, and then threw the bat and hit me in the nose. Yeah. Yes. Hi. But it healed and it was okay. But as I've grown, it started to deviate my septum a little bit to the side. So I've always breathed through my mouth. When I first met Jeff, his main concern was getting his nose more symmetric. You know, as we know, he got hit with a baseball bat many years ago. And with that, that caused significant deviation and crookedness of his nose. His nose was actually twisted. Because of the deviated septum, I've always had a little bit of a raspiness in my voice. I'm always having laryngitis. I also wanted to have a better, straighter, more aesthetically symmetrical nose because if I'm gonna go through all of the, the process, I'd also like to have it look as good as possible. And that also will help with the breathing. So those two go hand in hand. In addition, he had a little bit of fullness in his neck and his jaw area and his chin was set back a little bit. So we discussed doing the septorhinoplasty, straighten out the nose, make him breathe better, make it more symmetric, soften the profile, do a little liposuction of the neck and the jowls, and do a chin implant, and that was our goal. Up until Dr. Nassif, I had never been referred by somebody that I really trusted enough, nor did the doctor make me feel comfortable enough to ever follow through on the surgery. And when Dr. Nassif sat down with me and I met with the different people in the office, everybody made me feel comfortable. Dr. Nassif made me feel at ease that he'd be able to do a really professional quality job just to be able to breathe a lot better and to have a much straighter nose, and that's gonna be really cool, I think. I'm gonna take good care of you. I'm about a half an hour out from my surgery, and really, I think more than being nervous, I'm just excited about a week from now, two weeks from now, a month from now, when the bandages are off and the swelling starts to come down, getting a chance to see if I can breathe better, and how I look maybe a little bit better. And I think that gets me kind of fired up about what's gonna happen, but as far as being nervous, I have a lot of confidence in Dr. Nassif's ability to keep it as comfortable as possible and make the process as, as positive as possible. As long as I'm not awake during it, then I'm, I'm cool. <laughs> Vitals are good, just so you guys know. We're just about to scrub into Jeff's surgery. I'm gonna start off with the liposuction and let's go. With Jeff, initially we performed a liposuction of the jowl and submental area. After we performed the liposuction, we did a procedure called a platysmoplasty. We open up the incision in the chin a little bit wider, and we take the muscles of the neck and we bring them closer together and tighten them. Following the platysmoplasty, we performed the chin implant, and the chin implant involved using different sizers of chin implants to see what looks the best for Jeff, and then we performed the chin implant. Then we perform the septorhinoplasty. You know, the major issue when performing a rhinoplasty on a nose that has had nasal fractures before is that the bones of the nose sometimes aren't as solid. They might have been broken where that when we try to refracture them and narrow them this way, they may not fracture the way we want them to be. So we have to be very careful how we do things. To fix the deviation of the nose, we had to do numerous things. First, we had to perform a septoplasty. The septoplasty helped straighten out his septum, which was in the form of a C, so it was really crooked. So it was pushing all the way over to the right. After we do that, we still had a problem with the left side of the nose. It was, still was collapsed. So we performed a reconstruction of the left side by using something called spreader grafts and onlay grafts that helped reconstruct the nose, make it more symmetric. It was pretty severe, but I've seen a lot worse. Okay, we're just putting on the cast now. We're we'll finished with the surgery. So after three and a half months, Jeff looks fantastic. His neck, his chin looks wonderful. His jowls look great. His nose looks a lot better, about 95% better. He's still a little bit swollen the tip, and that will take a good year for that tip to completely settle down and look fantastic. After the surgery, my nasal passages are now open. I can breathe through both sides much, much better. I can taste and smell food dramatically better now than I did before. And so far in the last three or four months, 
breathing has been good and I haven't had any nasal infections like I have for the last five or six years. And so that's good. Well, it's good. How natural it looks. As far as Dr. Nassif meeting or exceeding my expectations, I would say that he met and probably exceeded my expectations. I really appreciated him being as honest as he was. And by being so conservative, it's a pleasant surprise that now things are looking better than even what he had hoped that we could get it to. For neck and jaw liposuction, it's a very common procedure. If someone has good elasticity of the skin, we'll do a little bit of liposuction that's assuming that they need it, and that's what's gonna make the neck look a lot better. Let's go take your photos. It gives me more confidence. It makes me feel better about how I look now that my nose is straighter. It's not completely deviated to one side. It makes me feel better, and I lost a lot of weight even before surgery, but then having my neck muscles tightened and having a little lipo under there obviously made my jaw a lot more defined, which makes me feel more confident too, that I probably get double or triple the attention now than I got before I had the surgeries. I really think that you can't judge the final results until at least six months to a year after the surgery because of the amount of swelling that you're gonna have. I was just pleasantly surprised with the amount of post-op care that I was able to get, and it was just awesome.